Good morning, pupils. Welcome back to our math class. This will be our weekly for quarter one. Again, I am your teacher, Karen. I hope you learn and fun in this video lesson. Our lesson for today is about multi-step problem solving involving whole numbers and decimals. Our objective for today, you should be able to solve multi-step problems involving multiplication and addition or subtraction of decimals, mixed decimals and whole numbers, including money, using appropriate problem solving strategies and tools. Before we proceed to our lesson, let us review first the last topic, which is multiplication of decimals. I will give you mathematical equation and you have to answer it in 15 seconds. Now, ready. 1500 times 10. Timer starts now. Okay, so now let us see your answer, if it is correct. So, 1 and 5 tenths. So, are you all correct? Yeah! Very good. Okay, next. 23 and 12 hundredths times 2. Timer starts now. Time's up. Let us see your answer. Okay, so the answer is 46 and 24 hundredths. So, it is same as your answer. <laughs> Next, two and eight hundred four thousand times sixteen. Timer starts now. Okay, so the answer is 44 and 864,000. 1,000 times 1,500, go! So the answer is 150. Okay. <laughs> Next, 76 and 1200 times 34. Begin.
So the answer is 2,588 and 800. Okay, so another, what are the four steps? In solving simple problems, write the hidden questions for every step. I will give you 10 seconds to remember the four steps in solving problems. Go! So the steps in problem solving, number one, understand. So the hidden question, what is asked and what are the given facts? Number two, plan. So what is the hidden question in plan? So what is the operation to be used? Number three, Sold. And number four, check. So, it is the same answer with you. Okay. Let us proceed to our lesson for today. Multi-step word problems are combination of fundamental operations which includes hidden questions. Here, you will be able to think deeply and improve your higher order thinking skills to solve the problems. So what did you see in the picture? Okay, Zumba. Did you exercise in your house? So, it is important in our body because we need to be healthy and avoid sickness. Kahit pandemic, dapat nag-exercise pa din tayo kahit sa loob ng ating bahay. So, this will be your bonding with your parents and your siblings. Kaya dapat matutunan natin ang pag exercise araw-araw. Okay, so let us read the problem. Malikbuy East Elementary School conduct a project Zumba for a cost. An adult ticket cost 25 pesos and 50 centavos and a student ticket cost 15 pesos. How much will 5 adults and 4 students ticket cost? Let us proceed. Steps in problem solving. Number one, understand. So what is asked in the problem? So the total cost of tickets for adults and students. Letter B, what are the given facts? Adult ticket, 25 pesos and 50 centavos. Student ticket cost, 15 pesos. And 5 adults and 4 students. Number 2, plan. What is R? The operation shall we use to solve the problem. Select your own strategy. So, ano nga ba ang gagamitin nating operation upang masolve yung problem? Is it addition, subtraction, multiplication, or division? So, the answer is multiplication. Number three, solve. Show your computation. Unahin natin yung adults. 
So the adult ticket cost 25 pesos and 50 centavos. So how many yung adults? So 5. And the operation that we use is multiplication. So now, let us solve. So 5 times 0 equals 0. 5 times 5 equals 25. So carry 2 dun sa 5. Then 5 times 5 equals 25 plus 2 equals 27. Then carry 2 again dun sa tapat ng 2. So 5 times 2 equals 10 plus, 12, plus 2 equals 12. So 120. 127.15 So count the decimal point So 1 2 So count natin dito sa ating answer 1 2 So the decimal point will be between 7 and 5 So our answer is 127 pesos and 50 centavos for the ticket of adults. Next. So the student. The student's ticket cost 15 pesos. How many yung students? 4. So our gagamitin ulit natin is multiplication. So let us solve. So, 4 times 0 equals 0. 4 times 0 equals 0. And 4 times 5 equals 20. So, carry 2, then sa 1. Then, 4 times 1 equals 4 plus 2 equals 6. So, again... Dahil may decimal point, count the decimal point. 1, 2. Count natin dito sa ating sagot. 1, 2. So, our answer is 60 pesos. So, this will be the ticket of the four students. So, number 4 is check. So, the 5 tickets for adults is 127 pesos and 50 centavos. And the 4 tickets for students is 60 pesos. Okay. So, are you familiar in this picture? So, who among of you have been there? So, La Suerte Mega Warehouse. Ano-ano ang makikita nyo sa loob? Okay, so mga gamit sa bahay, ano? So, sino ang nagbabudget ng pera sa inyong tahanan? Okay. So, did your mother or father spend the money wisely? Paano nila binabudget ang pera? Let us see this problem. Mother bought three cans of sardines at 14 pesos and 50 centavos each. Five cans of milk at 23 pesos and 50 centavos each. 3 kilogram of sugar at 48 pesos and 50 centavos per kilo and 2 cans of corn beef at 27 pesos and 80 centavos each. Letter A question. What is the total amount of the item she bought? Letter B, 
what would be her change if she gave a 1,000 peso bill? So, I will give you more time to analyze this problem. So, ready na ba? Okay na ba? So, that we may proceed to our steps in problem. Okay. So, okay na. Let us proceed. So, number one, understand. So, what is ask? So, meron tayong dalawang tanong. So, letter A, the total amount of the items she bought. And letter B, her change if she gave 1,000 peso bill. So, dalawa yung ating gagawin. Next, what are the given facts? So, 3 cans of sardines at 14 pesos and 50 centavos each. 5 cans of milk at 23 pesos and 50 centavos each, 3 kilogram of sugar at 48 pesos and 50 centavos per kilo, 2 cans of corn whip at 27 pesos and 80 centavos each. So, number 2, plan. What is our the operation shall we use to solve the problem. Select your own strategy. So, analyze nating mabuti yung problem. Kung ano ba ang magagamit nating operation. So, tingin nyo ba, ilan ang magagamit nating operation para masolve yung problem? Okay, so the problem or the operation to be used is multiplication, addition, and subtraction. So, tatlo ang gagamitin natin. Number three, solve. Show your computation. So, we solve first the three sardines. The three sardines cost 14 pesos and 50 centavos. So, how many sardines? 3. So, para makuha natin kung magkano ang tatlong sardinas, ang gagamitin nating operation is multiplication. So, now, let us solve. So, 3 times 0 equals 0. 3 times 5, 15. And carry 1, dun sa 4. So, 3 times 4 equals 12 plus 1 equals 13. Carry 1, dun sa tapat ng 1. Then, 3 times 1 equals 3 plus 1 equals 4. So, again, there is a decimal point. So, we need to... Count. 1, 2. Count din natin dun sa answer. 1, 2. So, the decimal point is between 3 and 5. So, our answer is 43 pesos and 50 centavos. So, the 3 sardines is 43 pesos and 50 centavos. Next, the 5 cans of milk cost 23 pesos and 50 centavos each. So, how many 
cans, five. So again, we will use the multiplication to solve this problem. So let us compute. So five times zero equals zero and five times five equals twenty five. Carry two then sa three. Then five times three equals fifteen plus two seventeen. Carry one then sa two. So five times two equals 10 plus 1 equals 11. So, count the decimal point. 1, 2. 1, 2. So, our answer is 117 pesos and 50 centavos. So, this is the price of the 5 can. Next is the sugar. So the sugar cost 48 pesos and 50 centavos per kilo. So the mother bought 3 kilos. So again, we will use the multiplication. So now let us proceed and compute. So 0 times 3 equals 0. Then 3 times 5 equals 15. So carry 1, then the 8. Then 3 times 8 equals 24 plus 1 equals 25. So carry 2, then the 4. So 3 times 4 equals 12 plus 2 equals 14. Again, count the decimal point. 1, 2. Then 1, 2. The decimal would be between 5 and 5. So our answer is 145 pesos and 50 centavos in the 3 kilos of sugar. Next is the 2 can of corn beef. So the two corn beef cost 27 pesos and 80 centavos each. So she bought two cans. And we will use again the multiplication. So let us compute. 2 times 0 equals 0. 2 times 8 equals 16. Carry 1. 7. 2 times 7 equals 14 plus 1, 15, carry 1, dun sa 2. Then 2 times 2 equals 4 plus 1 equals 5. Count the decimal point. 1, 2, 1, 2. So the decimal would be in between 5 and 6. So the answer is 55 pesos and 60 centavos. So the corn beef cost. Okay. So the three sardines cost 43 pesos and 50 centavos. The five cans of milk is 117 pesos and 50 centavos. The three kilograms of sugar is 145 pesos and 50 centavos. And the two corn beef is 55 pesos and 60 centavos. So now let us arrange. So 145 pesos and 50 centavos, 117 pesos and 50 centavos, 55 pesos and 60 centavos, and 43 pesos and 50 pesos. So in order to get the total amount of the mother bought, we need to add. Okay. So, let us add. So, the answer will be 362 pesos and 10 centavos. So, the total 
amount of the item she bought is 362 pesos and 10 centavos. So next, the letter B question is, how much is her change if she gave 1,000 peso bill? So 1,000 peso bill, so the total amount of she bought is 362 pesos and 10 centavos. So, ang gagamitin natin is subtraction. Dahil ang tinatanong is kung magkano yung change or yung sokli. So, the answer is 600 pesos, 637 pesos and 90 centavos. So, her change is 637 pesos and 50 centavos. So, to check, to check our answer, we can go back to our calculation. So, pwede natin balikan yung ating computation para ma-check kung tama ba yung ginawa natin. So, take note, we need to spend the money wisely. So, we need to budget it para hindi magkulang ang budget sa loob ng isang buwan. So, kailangan matalino si nanay o si tatay sa pagbabudget ng pera para hindi maubusan or para kung may mga gastusin pa, may ma kukuha pa si nanay at si tatay. Okay? So, no? let us proceed to your learning task number one. Solve the given problem. Use the four steps in solving word problems. A hidden question should be incorporated in your answer. So, number one, Mr. Fernandez earns 28 pesos and 50 centavos per hour as an office clerk. He earns 1 and 7,500 times as his regular rate for overtime. His regular work is 40 hours per week. He gets overtime pay if he works more than 40 hours. How much is the total earning if he works 45 hours in one week? So, analyze the problem number one. So, you should answer it in your answer sheet. Next, number two, Lucy earns 1,525 pesos a week. She sets aside 15% of this for savings. How much does she save in a year? So our hint, one year is equal to 52 weeks. Number three, Mrs. Briones has a monthly pay of 50,000 pesos. The withholding tax deducted from her monthly salary is 5,275 pesos and 75 centavos. What is the actual pay she receives in a year? So again, analyze the problem. So I will give you more time to solve. Okay. So, what are the steps in problem solving? Ano-ano nga ulit yung ginamit natin kanina? 
Okay, number one, understand. So, what is ask? What are the given facts? Number two, plan. So, what is or are the operation to be used? Number three, sold. And number four, check. So, remember the four steps in solving word problem. And Okay, so in answering word problem, you will be able to think deeply and improve your higher order thinking skills to solve the problems. So analyze and think. Okay, so let us proceed in your learning task. Solve the given problems using the four steps in solving word problems. Write your complete solutions in your answer sheet. So, I provide your answer sheet and you will answer that. So, number one question or problem. A clerk is paid 45 pesos and 50 centavos per hour for 40 hours per week. 1 and 50 times the regular rate for overtime and double the regular for a holiday. How much does the clerk get if he works overtime for 3 hours and 5 hours on holiday? Okay, number 2. Sarah works 8 and 5 hours a day from Monday to Friday and 6 and 75 hours on Saturday. If she is paid 55 pesos and 25 centavos per hour, how much does she earn in a week? Number 3. Mr. Paron sells fruit in the market. Banana cost 25 pesos per kilogram and grapes cost 180 pesos per kilogram. A customer bought 5 and 25 kilos of banana and 3 and 75 kilograms of grapes. How much will the customer pay? Next, creating a simple problem using the given data. So, I will give you an example on how to create a simple problem. Okay, so the given data, 80 pineapples at 15 pesos and 25 centavos each, 3 pineapples got rotten, sold, the rest at 20, 20 pesos each amount of gain. So, ito yung magiging problem using that given data. Wangkanor bought 80 pineapples at 15 pesos and 25 centavos each. 3 pineapples got rotten, but he sold the rest at 20 pesos each. How much did he gain? Now, let us go to your learning task number 3. Create a simple problem using the given data. Solve and write your complete solutions in your answer sheet.
Number 1, Mila, 75 hour, Carol, 25 times faster. How long will it take Carol to clean the kitchen? Number 2, Adult ticket cost, 25 and 75. Student ticket cost, 15 pesos and 75 centavos. Costs of 3 adult tickets and 4 student tickets. So after this video, you will need to answer all the learning tasks that I've given. Okay, so thank you for listening. I hope you learned and enjoyed this video. Thank you, thank you.